So I'm just going to hide the clearance cube for now, and I'm going to continue programming. We'll toggle the GD&T items, and what we'll do is we'll temporarily hide our fixture and our machine, simply so that it's out of the way when we're doing our selection. If we go under this icon, hide and show graphics, we can temporarily hide the probe, the machine, and the fixture. I'm going to select the top view here, and I'm going to go into GD&T selection mode, and I'm simply going to select some of these feature control frames. The first feature control frame I'm going to select is going to be this one that measures four 15 millimeter holes. Now, in order to measure those four 15 millimeter holes, PCDMIS also needed to measure datum D. So you can see inside of this feature control frame dialog, cylinder one has been measured and it's been assigned as datum D. The four cylinders that are 15 millimeters in diameter have been measured. And now I have the opportunity to add some of the missing tolerances. If you need to move around any of these feature control frames to see them better, simply select text box mode. Then I can use my left mouse button and I can drag these labels anywhere clear of the part. We can see that there's a callout of perpendicularity of 50 microns to datum A. This callout is applied to a cylinder that is concentric to datum D. So I'm going to select that callout. PCDMIS inserts a measurement for that cylinder and now displays the perpendicularity callout. You'll notice that the feature control frames that I've previously measured are now grayed out inside the graphics display window. <laughs>